All right, guys, how's it going? <laughs> Don't ask me what the, um, the accent was. Just making a cup of tea, doing myself some much joy. Um, I've just recorded like a really, really long video for you guys. It'll take a while to appear. You know, YouTube to process it and that. And uh, I thought I'd come upstairs, <coughs> my office and my recording studio. Um, they're all underneath my house in another apartment. Uh, so I have to come upstairs to get a bite into it. Well, hmm, hmm, hmm. Who what? I don't have to come upstairs to get something to eat. There's a kitchen downstairs, but I had a bit of mincing, microwave ready. You need to know these things, right? Cup Talk TV. Don't get more real than this, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like YouTube. <clears throat> they send you videos, like, not videos, uh, tips for your videos, you know. They should only be three minutes long and all that. And insert an ad here and... Do you, what's it, what's it called? See, I don't even know what it's called. Um, you know, that trigger thing at the end where you tell people what to, you know, subscribe and what's up and, you know, I don't know. See, here, on this channel, you are part of something. You are part of the community. People take the piss on me when they say that. But, You can draw me here on the weekend, for example. Have a sing song, a few beers. Come into my home and watch me make a cup of tea and have my dinner and that. See these other YouTube channels? Yeah, they just want to make a few bob and that. There's nothing wrong with that. Not all of them. I'm talking about the ones you probably know about. Not like Adam Naylor, for example, who's a great YouTuber, focusing around Liverpool Football Club. I love Adam. He's mint. He's, uh, he's genuine. <clears throat> and if he uh, makes a few bob one day to buy himself a drink, he'll be grudging that. You know what I mean? I'm talking about these, uh, what is it? Top Reds, you know. And they put nice little graphics on and they've got nice little studio and all that. You know, serious business. Me... Uh, I'm just, I am just just like prefer to like get to know people on a Saturday night when we do our streams. I might do one on uh, Friday this week, I don't know. If you'd have been on our stream on Saturday, you'd have agreed that it was the best thing ever. I mean, we had a right laugh. It was good. Hmm. All right, this. Viewer retention, that's it. If I could retain viewers while eating my dinner and making a cup of tea, I'd say that makes it pretty cool around here. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. There's nothing wrong with these with YouTube channels that operate as a business. Remy's out there trying to uh, catch flies. Hey, get down your bar, me bass. Oop, not have to swear on YouTube. Not wrong with making a few quid. But it's when it's like a conflict of interest. So like when you claim to be a fan channel But there's incentives from the club. I don't think you're really independent. I don't think you are a fan channel then.
many years ago. Mm, gotta be careful. On a couple of occasions I've had dealings with the club where You know, there's incentives if you work with them rather than against them. <clears throat> hmm. I obviously uh, rejected that. Hmm. This is really nice. Now, <clears throat> None of us expect there to be any further transfer activity this month inbound, right? Right. Wait. Wait a minute. It's my rescue puppy. And before you say anything, I don't like that picture behind me either. But my missus insisted on it. I haven't got round to second fire to it yet. But I will. So, none of us expect there to be any more transfer activity this month. <clears throat> I believe, I understand, I am told, uh, I am informed that there is still communication between Liverpool and Brighton. Now, <clears throat> without going too much into that, to try and justify why you should believe me, I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> why would there be communication between Brighton and Liverpool if they had no intentions of doing anything this month? So, I think it's... <clears throat> well, I'd like to say I know, but that would be uh, maybe a bit arrogant. So I will say I would like to think that it's nothing's happening with uh, with Brighton because of the valuation or valuations uh, that have been um, you know provided to uh, to other football clubs, excuse me, like including Liverpool. So see, I think Liverpool, or my opinion, is that Liverpool made an approach to uh, Brighton back in December. If you're on the Cock Talk members website. You'll know that that took place on Boxing Day. <clears throat> and it was for multiple players. Because the, the well, the, the word players, you know, an inquiry was made or an approach was made. I can't remember the exact language. And I like to be very specific. Uh, I don't like to misquote people. The language used was players. Uh, definitely players, which is obviously the plural to player. So it sounds like Liverpool inquired or approached or whatever you want, words you want to use regarding more than one player at Brighton. Uh, and then not long after that, <clears throat> we had Joyce come out and say there's not going to be anything else this, this window unless something changes, uh, which I think is related to Brighton and, the, and their valuations, plural. Um And then Klopp, consist, you know, like consistently since that point, has been saying, I don't expect anything to happen. Um, so I think they all feel like not that the Brighton are not going to move on it. And I would assume that Chelsea's interest is not helping us. <clears throat> Maybe if Chelsea were not involved, um, that might have gone our way. Like, you know, like, listen, you know, I'm a realist. You know, I'm not one of these, like, football supporters that wants to, like, you know... They want something so much that they start to believe everything they hear in the hope that it becomes true. And I'm not like that. And uh, I'm also a realist. And I'm not one of these, like, I, I don't shout positive things very often, to be honest with you. But that's not very difficult under these owners. Um, and I appreciate, I don't, you know, expect anything much to happen, really. But most people just say nothing's going to happen now. And maybe nothing will happen now, this month. Um, but I still like. I still think that 
something could happen if um, if Brighton were to lower their um, demands. I think it's that. I think it's that um, simple. Could something happen with another club? I don't know. I mean, I, I see league. We see what well, we see leagues every day, don't we? You know. Um, but uh, no, I just don't think. I don't think the window is as close as everyone thinks it is for Liverpool at the moment. But you shouldn't take that as me saying that someone's going to happen. How would I know? I'm not a Twitter writer again. Um, no, I would still... Um, I'd just keep an eye on what's happening with Brighton, really. Mm. Let me know your thoughts. Look, look, listen, I'm with the majority, honestly. I, I know the majority of you say, nah, now it's going to happen. Uh, I think you, you're probably right. But <clears throat> this morning, or... Well, not even... What time are we on? No, it's this afternoon now. It would be uh, afternoon in England. This afternoon, um, I was told that Liverpool are still talking to Brighton. So you make of that what you will. I mean, you don't talk to Brighton unless you're trying to do something. So that's it. All right. So I enjoyed my uh, my dinner. It was nice. It, it was chicken mince. If you if you're interested, uh, and I've got myself a nice cup of uh, Yorkshire tea biscuit brew now. Hmm. It was bought for me that cup. Long time ago. Mm. Yeah, I'm off. Speak to you in a bit.